Hello there, people of the internet. It is Monday. Almost 9 o'clock already. We had some stuff we had to get done. Um, <laughs> this little girl has been going, being a little crazy. We went to the store and got some bananas, and she loved the bananas. She would not let the bananas go, and when we had to take the bananas away, she got upset. When I had to put her in the car and take the bananas, then she got upset. And then I gave her her bananas, and she was very happy. And now she's eating bananas. <laughs> and I cut all these up, but then she was... She pulled this whole thing over, and I was like, oh, whatever, I'll just give you a big chunk. And so she's just been nibbling on this chunk. <laughs> wow, girl, you ate quite a bit. No, you cannot touch the camera with those hands. <laughs> Rev, you got a banana beard. <laughs> and banana all over the cup. Now, I'm going to be honest, guys. The last hour or so, I have not been in a good mood. <laughs> And it was time to change that. It is Tuesday afternoon, and we really didn't film much yesterday, but it's like almost four o'clock now. I came home early from work because Ariana had a doctor's appointment to um, get her baby checked out. Get her baby checked out. Make sure everything's still going smoothly with that. And so I'm just home with this cutie. Hi. Ow. Oh, did you just say hi? Ow. Ow. You're so cute. And <laughs> you are doing so good. She's been so happy. She's been, she has been on the move a lot lately. She'll she'll be in one spot and then we'll we'll turn around, turn away, and she'll be in another spot. Yeah. Won't ya? Yeah. Ah! You're getting so darn big. Up, oh, do it, crawl. She's been crawling on her knees a lot lately. Well, more so than she was before at least. You doing so good eating your lunch? Is that tasty chicken and strawberries? You sure eating the strawberries over the chicken though, huh? Eat it. And I've also got some peas for you, wherever they are. Got them peas! Red Look who's home! Hello. Hi! Are you gonna, do you wanna tell them how your appointment went quick? Um, well, people will be confused if they haven't watched my update. If you're confused oh. what I'm talking about, go watch my point on these update. But basically, my cervix grew again, which is a good thing. But it doesn't necessarily mean that, like, we're in the safe. You're in the clear. It's still possible, I guess, for it to go back under. Right now, I'm at exactly three, and they want to see it over three. But normal is between 3.5 and 4.5. So I still have to go the next three weeks. But, let's keep our fingers crossed. It keeps doing what it's doing, right? Okay, so what we have here is this a present from Kaylee. I think this is from Jesse and Kaylee and Jake. I will link their YouTube channel below. JK. What? Jesse and Kaylee. Oh, or Jake and Kaylee. <laughs> JJK. Just, just kidding. Okay. Anyways, that isn't a joke. I really will link their YouTube channel below. <laughs> But they got Rev a little present for Christmas. Yeah, you're and so cute. Open it. <gasps> Rev. What's in there? What? Oh my goodness, girl. What's in there? You pull out the first one. Pull it out. I think I see stuff in here that is for me, though, not for you. <laughs> you pull that? I think it's all for her. Pull it. <gasps> pull it. <gasps> oh my. What is that? Yeah. She's like, next. <gasps> Ooh, look at the sleeper. Pieces? She's like, I want to wear a sleeper now. Yeah, you you, you're already on. wearing it now. One now. Oh, you want to open that? What is that? She Ooh, look at that. Pants. You got some oh. pants for you. What's that you got? 
Ooh. Bare Minerals lights things up. This is not for you, pretty lady. I think it is for her. Ooh, that's cool. She's trying to start them young. Eye color, which I'm like running out of my eyeshadow, so that's perfect timing. <laughs> okay, okay, we're gonna open. I see cupcakes. Cupcakes? Do you eat the cupcakes? Oh. <gasps> Look at that. This is super cute. She's like, I Ooh, just want to get in. I get. I want to get in the box. Baby shampoo. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, it's like a little hoot. Do you see what you have here? She's like a mini hoot. Is it a mini hoot? She's really confused. <laughs> She's trying to figure it out. Oh. Where's hoot? It's a little hoot, huh? You got a little hoot. And Jesse also gave me this little makeup bag with some uh, samples in it, which if you guys don't watch her, then you probably don't know that she used to work in like the makeup industry. Like she did a lot of like, um, did she work for, I think she worked for Bare Minerals actually, if I'm correct. Jesse, you could tell me that I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. So a lot of it is like Bare Minerals stuff and such, which I'm actually super excited because in this thing in particular, there's eyeshadow and a full-size mascara, which I've been out of mascara for like a long time, so I don't really wear it. The one I have is like super crusty and old, and so it's just best I don't use it at all. So I'm super excited to have a new one to try out, and I'm almost running out of like my everyday eyeshadows, and these are like, this top one is, is like a very just everyday color, so. Perfect. Oh, you're getting a hold of the shampoo. Let's be careful. Can you say thank you? She says thank you by actually crawling. Oh, you guys probably, did you show? Her like actually crawling? Uh, she wasn't really doing it. Show them how you crawl. Go get the shampoo. Good job. Good job. So yeah, about the last, mm, probably last couple days actually, she started to really crawl on her knees and hands. So she's been doing really good. So thank you, Jesse and Kaylee and Jake. Rev would say thank you if she knew her manners, but she doesn't quite know them yet. Do you want to put your new sleeper on? I haven't watched it yet though. That's okay, we won't tell anyone. Mice them, because they know. <laughs> Show me your new jammies. Since all you wear is jammies. Oh, look at that face. You're such a poser. Look at the camera. You are so cute. Look at the camera. Hey, Rev, look up here. It was super cute though. Well, one, it was sad because she got scared when Ryan was beating up Mr. Batman, but then Ryan held her after and she was super happy and she just keeps like looking up at him and smiling, but of course we took the camera out. She stopped. This girl has been standing up so much. Look at you, you cutie. What do you want? Oh, do you want the, do you want the lion? She's, she's like leaning against the cube. <laughs> oh my goodness, you are so cute, child. Yay! Here you go. She's been doing like super great at standing tonight. She's been standing everywhere, she's been eating everything, and I'm about to make some juices. I'm gonna pull this sucker out, cut her up, and see how, how well it turned out being upside down in there. So, Pineapple is partially cut, but it's really good. I'm gonna use pineapple, apple, mango, and a little bit of lemon. So I think it should be pretty good. I'm excited. Okay, so now that I've had a chance to actually eat, like really eat the pineapple, not just the little bits cut off from the side. It is spectacular. So I don't know if, if you remember on Sunday, we put it in the fridge upside down, and I don't know if we can attribute it to that, but it is really good pineapple. 
but you've only eaten one piece. I've eaten three. Really? Yeah. How many pieces did I give you? No. So this is the house she's been working on oh, for the last couple of days. Well, ignore the different colors on the outside. I'm changing stuff, and there's no roof. <laughs> no roof? Do we just not get a roof? Is that I can add is? a roof, but it's a lot of work to add a roof. Oh, really? Yeah. Look at this. This is pretty neat, though. So you got the 2D, and then you can adjust it to 3D. Yeah, and you can add stuff in either one, which is something I like, because a lot of these, like, you can see in 3D, but you can't edit anything in 3D. Gotcha. And I much prefer putting in a lot of the stuff in 3D. Yeah. But. Because then you can adjust, like, height-wise where it's at. Mm hmm Instead of just. So you can really see. We are going to open the letters that we got in the P.O. box. Some of them are from a little while back. That. Yeah. We forgot we had. They got put in a place where they got lost, and then we found them. Yes, that's precisely what happened. So, we're going to open these right now. So we just read your guys' letters, and a lot of them are actually Christmas cards because they're getting to the Christmas season. And so we'll see how long this time, because you guys remember, we had all of your Christmas cards up on our fridge until we moved, so it was May. And we still had them up, and we'll probably do the same this year just because it's... It's nice and fun to read, and I like having something happy on the outside of our fridge. First one is from the Parker family, and then this is from Chris Clevis, and he was just mentioning to us that he found a Christmas card with one of the, what is it, National Monuments? A while back we asked you guys for like a monument or popular place that people go like that your town is known for, and so he had found a Christmas card with one of the nearby monuments by him. So he sent us that. So thank you, Chris and the Parker family. And then we have two letters from Lauren. Lauren, yours was one of the ones that accidentally got misplaced, but we did open them now. It may be five months later, <laughs> but we found it and we opened it. <laughs> so thank you very much, Lauren. She was just letting us know some updates with her. And then our last Christmas card is one that was a glittery one, which... <laughs> um, I was very careful to open it so it wouldn't yeah, get everywhere. She wrote on it, warning, Christmas card contains glitter. And I should have recorded it because he was opening it like it was a, a glitter bomb. <laughs> 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 um, but it's a little nice Christmas card with, with a little Charlie Brown of Christmas. Well, nativity scene. And then she just wrote us a nice little letter inside. So thank you very much, Sarah, for your Christmas card. So we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog. Monday's question of the day was, what is something that you are grateful for that you wouldn't normally think about? Garbage disposal. With a child eating, not having a garbage disposal <laughs> would be so hard. <laughs> so that's um, definitely mine. Oh, and someone said warm water too. Yeah. And I have to go with that one as well. Yeah. I, I, mean, I definitely don't really think about that one. There's so many things that it's hard to even just yeah. pick one. Like socks comes to mind. I think somebody may have mentioned that. But like, without socks, you'd probably get blisters. Like socks or shoes. Deodorant. Mm. Thankful for deodorant. Toothbrush and toothpaste. Mm -hmm. a, a fridge. Fridge, yeah. A dishwasher that fits everything. <laughs> a, a microwave. Man. Well, we could go on for days. <laughs> There's some of ours. Yes. Um, today's question of the day is going to be, when you have a negative attitude, from whatever the circumstance may be, what is something that you do to kind of reframe and get yourself out of the bad attitude? And I know that sometimes reframing is something people don't want to even think to do or have never tried. So for those of you that maybe haven't done that, I know for me, I used to just be like, you know, if I was having a bad day, it was like, well, you know what, I'll wait for tomorrow, today's bad, and that's how it's gonna be. <laughs> but if you are more along the lines of how I used to be, then what is something that you could do to try and reframe so that you could turn a bad day into a good one? I've got a, I've got a good example of that. What? But not for today's vlog. What do you mean? Of taking a negative situation and looking at it in a positive light. Oh, okay. Yeah, secrets. Uh, you guys will find out soon enough. But, yes. And, and I, why are we asking that question? 
because I had a bad attitude yesterday. <laughs> it abruptly ended because he had talked about it and then Revlin started crying and so he stopped and then we went <laughs> the next day. And so he's just like, well, I had a really bad attitude. And then it's, hey, it's Tuesday. <laughs> Let us know. Comments down below. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And as always, we'll see your wonderful faces on Friday. Bye, guys. Oh, my bad. But, oh, actually, we're gonna get settlers set up. And then when they get home, we're gonna play Biggie. Oh, let's say goodnight. Bye. Yes, say night night. No, 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 no. You're so cute.